Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Luck Be a Landlord, the roguelike slot machine drafting game modded, though. We are still playing around with the same mods of Daniel's Random Stuff and the Butcher and Butcher's Cleaver mod here. Meaning, you know, we've got a lot of stuff to explore still, but good God, these have so much, like, to play around with. It is, uh, it is wild. So... We're gonna be, yeah, messing with it still. There's a couple core, core, core builds that I still feel like we need to do. Give two if the position is higher than the previous position. Sure. Um, one of those is a slime focused build, kind of going for like a, you know, there's like a Dungeons and Dragons y style build. Uh, there is a pure fire build that we have not done yet. I wouldn't say that we've done a tree build yet. Like, I would not say that we've actually done a tree build. You know what? Adoption papers early is actually really good to me, especially because we're going to be looking for woodpecker probably. Penguin destroys these things for money. Frog destroys slimes. Hello. Wolf is just worth two bucks. Uh, really nice. Yeah, frog this early is, is very, very, very good. Light bulb is, you know, it's vanilla synergy with the freaking pearl. What do you, what do you want from me? Um... I'll pick a mouse, I guess. We've got a lot of animals working right now. Snow globe. Snow globe and penguin is kind of like a dis-synergy, really. But it, it's worth two. Actually, is it? Not necessarily. Lockbox is fine, but I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. We're going to be adding a lot of sticks to this place. Absolute garbage. Rabbit permanently gives two more after giving money ten times. Okay, there you go. Sticks and woodpeckers give twice as much. That's a that's a lead, gang. That's a lead. Snowball for the penguin. Yeah, you make the snowballs last longer, so just in case we need them to sure. Last longer to hit the penguin. So that it will eventually eat it. Slime gets destroyed by the frog for 10 bucks. Works for me. Snow gets destroyed by the penguin. Gave it a go. Safe. We got the key for it. 30 bucks is 30 bucks is 30 bucks. We're like a giga head on rent. <laughs> Purple slime when destroyed gives 3x to all adjacents. Sounds good to me. Two if none of the symbols are empty. It beats Nori the rabbit unless we're going to add another, and I don't know if I will. There's a chance I'd add rabbit fluff. Checkers piece, I've got to be honest, is an appealing thing as well. It can hop over another checker piece diagonally. Permanently gives two for each checker destroyed. Wait, does it mean... So I've read that in the past, destroyed ever, like... Or destroyed by it, not destroyed ever. That's a really big difference. If it means any checker that has ever been destroyed, then gang, I think checkers are maybe really good. Take the pink slime. That being said, we'd want to get something to... Oh boy. Hat doubles the value of humans underneath. We only have one human. I'm going to need to get a die to get rid of my gambler sometime here. I think the leaf, it's non-committal. Leaf gives one more per every uh, tile above it. And then if it is on the bottom floor, it destroys itself. Bottom floor, you know what I mean. Good God, we have stacks of cash. Since we have stacks of cash, let's just get the piggy bank. Rusty gear, do we have any, do we have three of anything? We're gonna get three sticks and then it's gonna be stupid. Bunnies have a 100% chance of adding rabbit fluff. Oh, it's a dangerous game. I'm doing it. Uh, what do we have for... Do we have anything trashable? Well, it gets rid of the sticks, but... I could do that until I... I get, I'll tell you what. Bing, bang, boom. I'm going to take this trash can until we get like a woodpecker or something because the trash can uh takes three pieces of garbage and then it eventually uh 
Ooh, magic key. Don't mind if I do. Jesus. <laughs> hey, but we get a lot more rares. Destroyed by adjacent sticks and stones. Destroy themselves afterwards. Adds pile of bones worth four when destroyed. Okay. I'll tell you what. That's already kind of something. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay. Pink slime, I'll take it. We got a lot of trash going on. Ooh, that was perfect. That was ideal as hell. Another skeleton? Okay. This is kind of the... This is what I was talking about. Sort of like the Dungeons and dragons he build. Um... I'm going to take the three-sided die to kill the gambler, hopefully. All right, we are getting a lot of rares. Destroy yourself when destroy, you get an additional spin before rent is due. I think I'm making more than 30 a spin. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Okay. Oh, boy. Got a lot of rare stuff for a bit. Pine tree has a chance of adding the stick. I mean, it's another thing for the old, uh, the old skeleton tone. Lockpick. Out of these, I think we take lockpick and then turn it off until we have a use. That. Uh, probably get rid of the mouse, I'd say. So, huh. Sun. This is just a rare that we happen to find. I don't, I, I highly doubt there is a sun and skeleton build. So like, I'm the reason I said it that way is because I mean we won't re-roll and guaranteed that we'll find another one. You know, I'm just gonna take the safe, get the magic key out of here. Take another stick, you know, either for the garbage can to give us removal tokens. Purple slime and Jason symbols are worth three times more. Sure. You know, there's impetus to keep the pawn in the checkers piece. Like, I really like the spirit of it, but I'll keep it for later. Like, a little bit later. If only with the match key would have hit that, it got it would have got tripled, tripled. Or, uh, double, tripled? Triple, double. Triple, tri no, triple, tripled. It would have got triple, tripled. Whew. 90. Dang, would have been 270. 270 bucks there. Would have been nice. We could take another rabbit fluff. Just literally, the reason I'm doing it is because you know, I thought maybe we'd find, you know, more slimes. Maybe we'd find more checkers. Maybe we'd find more skeletons. Birdhouse is still an angle. None of these have anything to do with my build, so dishwasher is the way to go then. Fish. Mm. I don't know if I need another tree. Well, I don't want to kill my tree. Man, I hate all of this. That was all stanky. One whenever symbols added sounds good to me. All right, that's out of here. Checker piece. I can't, I just I gotta know. Do we have we got empties. After all that, we we finally do have empties. No, twenty two. Rain can kill slimes as well, for what it's worth. Just gonna say no. We got three for that. That's not actually empty. It's a leaf. It's a leaf, that's why. Get rid of the wind. Wind's just a good symbol. Symbols to the left get the 1.5x. And then um, it also gets rid of all of the leaves in a, in a more reliable fashion. It's just such a good get. We're going to need more removal. I wish the trash can took leaves. 
Good, good, good cleanup. Good cleanup. I'm not going to say we're falling behind, but we're like falling a little bit behind. Destroy the stuff for rent. Two free payments. Uh, so Locksmith is just an incredible piece in general, but I just don't want it. <gasps> when an adjacent symbol is destroyed, it has a 40% chance of adding Frankenstein's monster or a skeleton. Adjacent Frankenstein's monster and skeleton give two more. Oh, it can't be 2x? You can't hit me with a multiplicative? Skeletons and bones. Okay, we found our build. Like, I mean, I kind of figured that that's what it was already, but... Now we know just, like, a little bit more. So can we turn leaves into skeletons? Is... Is that a thing? Holy crap, we got a lot of empties really fast. And I don't want any of this. Oh boy. I'm just gonna take the frog for now, because it's like, it is a good piece. Oh man. Oh man. Snowflake is temporary. What happened to what happened to all my pieces? Why'd they all go so fast? I guess I'm gonna take a sapling then. Wood snowball. I have nothing to do with the snowball. Huh. So you remove, you don't destroy, right? No, you destroy leaves. When an adjacent symbol is destroyed, it has a 40% chance of adding. So you can turn uh, you can turn leaves into skeletons? You can turn bubbles into skeletons? Am I understanding this correctly? Oh, this is chaos. Absolute chaos. I'm having such a hard time managing my uh my symbol counts. It keeps on fluctuating like crazy. I mean we're we're killing it here. Like I obviously, to be clear, we win, obviously. Did I take a... Oh, wind blows away rabbit fluff. I didn't even process that. That's just... Wind just, just does so many different things. It's wild. Because I was going to take the lint roller for that. Uh, booster pack. I'm going to booster pack and save a bunch of rerolls so I can get the, uh, the knight, hopefully. That's the dream, at the very least. Oh my god. What the hell happened? I, <laughs> I can't get you to sit by where I... <laughs> the things I actually need. Um, terracotta Soldier is obviously an idea. I'll tell you, let's get another check a piece. This is kind of fun. I'm liking, I'm just liking watching that one guy keep getting stacked higher and higher. Oh no, it's. Hmm. Huh. No, it, it has its own personal kill count, I think. Which means, could it really... Could I lose it all? It's a gamble that's worth it, though. Because, worst comes to worst, I just remove it from my deck and I don't care. Oh! Okay. We're, I think we're... I think we finally got an, a, a free skeleton or so. Okay, five spins. We want to keep our re-rolls. Not that I have any right now. Bar of soap to try and just make more skeletons out of bubbles. <laughs> to see if it can work. Uh, 
I want to get rid of the trash can at this point. Maybe, maybe not. Protractor, I think we take it and we leave it on right now. Jungle Tree does not drop any sticks. And the house does not house a necromancer. So we're actually going to skip this. Just straight up. There's Woodpecker, finally. Did not work. So I guess we just failed the 40% there. It's understandable. 22 symbols. This is staying pretty cleanly where it needs to. All right, here we go. Oh, it's not this one? Oh, no, it's the pack, so we it's the very rare at the end. There it is. Destroys adjacent skeletons and trolls. Permanently gives one more for each symbol to destroy. So we obviously are going to be getting rid of the trees now. If you hadn't. If you hadn't figured. So we want the knight to kill the skeletons now. We're going to make a, a mob spawner. So yeah, we still really... We, we're going to want to have the trash can giving us all these removals for now. Hex of question mark. That's just... Nope. Oh boy. Yeah, we got it. We got a little bit of a build going. We can also get rid of the frogs now too. Like this is what I this is the build I've been wanting. This is it, baby. And ironically, now that we have it, we're sort of falling a little behind. Not really, but like we're falling further behind than we were. Uh, you know, this will give us a lot. Do you kill necromancers? No, good. Mm. You kill trolls, but I think I'd rather have another necromancer buffing up what we have. Gonna re put on the lockpick. I don't know. I feel like there's some stipulation to it that it's not saying. Oh, no. No, I don't think so. Gray slime. Nice. Very nice. Mob spawner. Let's go! I'm farming! It's gonna take a bit, but like... Yeah, we just don't- we don't want any sticks. That's pretty much the deal. The question is like... Do we have enough... God. No, we want to get rid of the, um... Frogs next. And then we- so we still have those empty spaces. So this guy gets ramped up. It's kind of like we have the symbols that are getting added for us, more or less. Lime slime. Oh. And also, these are just worth five at a base, too, which is not bad. I could get the hat for the night. Oh, I love this. This is like the dream build I've wanted. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Oh, sorry, Frankenstein. You don't get to come back. The funny thing is there's a there's totally a different skull and crossbones build. Uh, I guess we can take the troll for kills. Skip so we can get the doubles. That didn't really matter. Womp. So we're just going to be trying to kill the troll. We got the checker piece and everything. We got like a, a decent amount of things that need to go still, to be clear. Like we should get rid of the uh, the die as well. 
I guess we can get the lockbox. Just try and just try and get these lockpicks out of the way. People get absolutely bent out of shape when I don't utilize this. Even though I've already like I've literally like already won at this point, to be clear. Okay. I could add stuff for the trash can, I suppose. God, so much stuff is getting destroyed. Void portal is was such a good get today. I could get just get the sapling to get more sticks to try and get that to help us out right now. Uh oh. Oh my god. You love to see it. I'm just not finding stuff to add and no removal tokens. Like I want I need the wind gone, the bunny, the like so much stuff I need gone out of here. But I don't want to waste my rerolls on it. It seems stupid. Okay. We pretty much have more or less an autopilot build at this point. Boop, 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 boop. We get a removal token at the very least. And that matters. What am I looking for? Can you kill the chest? No, but we can we can open it and then you can destroy it. Okay, so it's open, and now it's a mimic. And now it'll be destroyable. Destroyable. Slime for sure. Uh, removing cost one more, you son of a gun. You dirty fool. You got the mimic. The mimic just gives a lot of money when it gets destroyed. That's the whole thing. You didn't destroy this one? Lazy. Destroy a Yeti. Nope. There we go. That's going to be a pretty big payout. That's going to be not too shabby. I, I mean, technically, this is valid. Man, I can't wait until post game so I can... Oh, my God. Oh, come on! You always do that to me You've just before I'm going into Endless. Why you no kill that skeleton? Just before I go into Endless, you saddle me with this trash. Uh, mysterious box. I have lockpick. I might as well. Okay, we got our double re removal here. Start removing a couple more things. That out of here. You think us to win out of here? I mean, we should get rid of the trash can first if we're not gonna. If we're not gonna add trash, here, here's some trash for it. So Frankenstein does what again? He buffs up adjacent. We got so much, so many things. The troll counts as an animal, huh? Interesting. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. Yeah, see, this is where it's a problem. Now we're not rolling our knight. I think we need to ditch one of the necromancers at some point here. Yeah, we're adding a lot. I bet you we just added... How, how many did we add? Four or five? Yeah, or 25. Dead ain't great. But this knight is absolutely giga farming. Great slime is a great one. Like, great slime is ideal, because it's a kill and it's a removal token. Like, if I could just get a bunch of slimes to show up, that that's the dream. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Da, 
another very rare. I don't know what very rare I even want at this point. So I'm going to say no. I could get the troll. I feel like there's maybe... I think I want like King Slime is sort of the ideal, I suppose. Or like, hell, removal tokens. Hey! Oh god, all at once. Us getting rid of that is going to be very, very nice. Choo, 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 pew, pew, pew. Oh man, when they juggle back and forth like that, that's amazing. Man, remember when we had to rely on sticks to kill him? And now we get a giga scaling guy? Love it. I can't seem to find purchase on these freaking slimes, though. Yeah, that's it. Two. I think I'll remove it. Ironically, maybe I'll remove it with the thing that uh, it gives me. Nah. Uh, no, no Monty Python synergy. No secret Monty Python synergy. Man, you know, that's a good build when I kind of just like, I'm rolling it right after we hit the boss. I'm kind of just rolling. Okay, the slime is great, but this banana peel completes my trash can and other luck be a landlord sentences. He's hitting 80. 80 on a clean, flat scale is is amazing. Like, this was not even exceptionally, like, difficult to get to. Not that any build in this is difficult. Does that throw in there? All right, it's time to remove the checker. And the bunny. Win next. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're just, yeah, we're at 25. I mean, good god. We have lots of skeletons. Okay, so that's uh, one extra removal token gained. I, I'll just, I'll remove the wind. I'll save the chest, the, the dang thing for last year. God, it, it's just a built in mob spawner. Spinning cat, it, it's irrelevant. Because, like, it, it's a flat scaling that normally this kind of build, like a um, like a geologist or Mrs. Fruit or something like that, it's really difficult to get them reliably fed because you have to keep on actually manually adding the symbols, you know? But this, it's on like a five turn timer. So theoretically, we, we want the Necromancers gone at, at this point as well. Like, if our only goal is to make this the strongest knight possible, our end goal definitely gets rid of the freaking... Because, yeah, look at that. They, they keep on making more, and at this point, they, they're making... They're making too much more. Let's see. Gear's going to make the skeletons a lot stronger. But then they're going to get destroyed. It just... It's irrelevant. stack. It's just a fun one. I'm going to remove one. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it. Oh, boy. All right. We'll probably uh, do some off-camera spinning for a moment or so. Let's see how spicy we can get some things. <laughs> we just rolled off-camera or off-screen. Oh, no. After this last one here. I did it again. Yeah, that's when we have too much. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see, okay? I'm a gambling boogeyman. One more. There we go. There we, there we go. That's what it's for. See, that's how you do it. Got up to 220 from that. Zoop. I, I like to think of it like a 360 no-scope almost. I'm just going to finish up these... Uh, Oh, well. That was me actually genuinely trying to re-roll him onto the screen. Oh, well. Oh, God, that 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. He's just adding so many. Uh, Alright, so that's the last of that. Alright, I'll be back with uh, probably just skeletons and the knight, and he'll be very big, and we'll see how funny that looks. That's pretty much the whole thing. There's not like a lot of multiplicative angles I can see for this, you know, if we get metal and we get very lucky. That's all, kind of all I see. I'll be right back, though. Alright. This is where we're at. We did get, uh, we got telescope in the middle of this here, which is pretty nice. Means that every three spins, we just giga clear anything on the map right now. Which may or may not be a lot, but like, he's, he's pretty stacked up here. It also means that he's adjacent to everything, which means we may potentially add more and more stuff. Uh, but I've been like slowly taking off. Because here's the thing. When I, I removed all the necromancers and I had 19 skeletons and just him. And I was like, great, this should work. Theoretically, I actually don't want to add anything right now. This should be theoretically just completely fine, right? Because this destroys, this destroys the uh, skeleton that turns into a bone pile that turns back into a skeleton. Net neutral, right? Logically. Every like 30 spins, I lost a skeleton. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, every 30 spins, I just lost one. So, like, I don't know what was going on there. If we were just, like, I, I don't know. I just don't know. But we're at t a clean 20 here. Oh, look at this. Oh, you're going wild. Keep spawning. Keep killing. Keep spawning. Keep killing. Absolutely mob spawner behavior but like i guess with a little bit of hands-on here we could uh you know keep on see this is the thing yeah we, we got a whole bunch of extra uh we have seven that have five left so we get rid of those that's the thing with the necromancer we need hands-on without the necromancer we need hands-on you would think that this would be completely uh neutral here like here i'll I'll even I'll remove the necromancer again here. This is basically at the end here. I don't know if it'll happen. It, it was pre pre telescope. Like I don't think that these are. I don't know if those are gone gone or not. No, see, yeah, we're we're at, we're at twenty clean. We're at twenty clean. I don't know what it is. It makes no sense. I think it must have been some kind of weird little bug. I'm not sure. But it seems to be working just fine right now, and like the guy is just gonna keep on getting stacked up and stacked up and stacked up and stacked up. Oh, it's so nice. God, I'm so happy to, to have actually got this build. This was the last big holdout I was kind of waiting for. I'll admit there's like a, a big part of me that wants to do a fancy hat build, but it's hard to really force builds in general in Luck Be a Landlord, and it's even harder to force builds when you're playing modded, when you're adding 100 extra symbols to the pool. It's it's wild, but I love this mod. I love this mod. What am I like? What are my favorite mods for a game? It's so so nice. Just these symbols are, are great. They really add a lot to the situation. I don't know why I added that. Uh, they add a lot of uh, of stuff to play around with. It's just really really great. Oh, this next. Oh, I was gonna say this next spin's gonna be really fun. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> all right well alas alas though i think that's that i think that's gonna do it here for today i uh just wasn't expecting to get what i wanted to get so quickly and and uh and easily and efficiently see what the hell happened why am i running it empty why am i running it empty what happened i don't know some weird interaction that theoretically I don't think it's supposed to happen that I think is maybe happening just because of how giga strong this build is. Either way, we're not even getting like crazy numbers. It's, we're not doing like the quintillions, but one symbol giving 624 clean is amazing, right? Like 624 clean is God tier. Uh, super fun, super great. Loved it. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Weeks and more every single day and I will see you next time. Bye.